President Muhammad Buhari says time and history will no doubt speak more eloquently of his stewardship. Buhari stated this at an event tagged Preserving PMB Legacy, organized by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, to conclude its caucus series. The news agency of Nigeria NAN reports the event witnessed the inauguration of PMB Legacy Portal, Testimony Series, Documentary, and the Compendium of the Buhari Administration's Achievements. Represented by his vice, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, the president said he could confidently say that his administration had given off as much as it could and impacted positively on the lives of the citizens. The president said the scorecard series provided a platform for ministers to highlight their achievements, challenges, as well as unfold plans for their respective ministries. Buhari congratulated the Minister of Information and Culture, al Lai Mohammed, and his team for putting together the impressive innovative and robust archival materials. Hearing from the citizens themselves, the petty trader who has been able to expand her, her business because of the trader money uh, opportunities given, the unemployed graduate who benefiting from the NPAR program discovers a new pathway to prosperity and also fulfillment. In addition, we see and hear recorded for history the passengers who could not hide their excitement at the seamless operation of the modern railway system or the state-of-the-art airport terminals. And the president of the Rice Farmers Association, who told us how rice production in the country has increased exponentially under the Anchor Boras programs. These are real people provided with a springboard to do more for themselves and for their communities. Real people inspired to hope and to believe that Nigeria can be positively transformed in our lifetime. But aside from the ultimate usefulness of this work as an anthology of the life and times of the Buhari administration, it is also a fascinating and riveting account of unfolding facts and stories of some of the most intriguing events in contemporary Nigeria. And I think these accounts must be given the widest possible reach across traditional and new media. Let the testimony and documentary series resound on radio, on television, and across social media. We should let the compendium be circulated in hard and soft copies, far and wide, to engage and provoke and maybe even inspire Nigerians and others who may come across it. So as we launch this compendium, uh, the documentary, the testimonials, and the legacy portal to the public. We must salute the cross-functional effort that has produced these achievements. The tireless inputs of civil servants and political appointees, the men and women, young and experienced, who are working to reverse the developmental tides that stood against the government, and the face sometimes of fierce criticism and great sacrifices have pursued the realization of our promises for better security, for laying a foundation for prosperity, and for creating a fresh burst of hope for the future. And of course, the work of government continues. Government, as we know, is a continuum. It is the desire of every elected government that the unfinished business of its administration finds continuity and fulfillment in subsequent governments. And I believe I speak the mind of the president when I say that our administration considers it a privilege and an honor to serve the people of this great nation, as we have done in the last eight years. It is our pleasure and privilege to unveil this compendium. This is the print version of the scorecard series for the benefit of Nigerians and the world and to the glory of the Almighty God. Earlier, the minister said the scorecard series was introduced to consolidate all the ministry had been doing since 2015 to propagate the policies and programs of the administration. The scorecard series provided 
a counter to the choreographed pushback by the opposition and the naysayers who contend because of bad belly that the Buhari administration has achieved nothing. It also provided campaign materials for our party and its candidates in the run up to the 2023 general elections. Recall that the sing song of the opposition was that this administration has nothing to campaign with. We have now shown that not only do we have a lot to campaign with, that we are actually spoiled for choice. We also went beyond the moment by creating the legacy portal, which as I said earlier, is an electronic storehouse of the achievements of this administration. This is unprecedented in the history of our country. 